the skinny bitches in a kitchen. Okay, so today we have New England clam chowder, homemade, in your very own kitchen. Let's go. So first, you want to start off with cutting up all your vegetables that you will be placing inside of your clam chowder. So I'm cutting up some celery, and then I'm taking two potatoes. You can add as much as you want, as little as you want. It's all yours. So I'm just going to do two because I'm making it for four people. So this should be good. And I like to cut them up a little bit small into cubes because I don't like to taste a whole bunch of potatoes in my cooking chowder. And I have a half an onion is what I'm placing inside. And that's all I'm gonna put in it. You can add carrots. I've seen some people add um, more seafood other than clams inside their chowder. However, this is the way that I'm doing it. So I will be using two cans of the chop clams, not the minced clams, the chop clams. And you wanna save that clam juice. So we're gonna drain it first. And we're gonna set our clam juice aside along with the clams to the side. And that's how it looks. I never ever seen clams in a can like that, so. It was very shocking on how they look. So we're gonna go ahead and saute our onions and celery. And I'm using bacon grease. Um, I did go ahead off camera. I fried some bacon to place as a topping on my clam chowder. That is very optional. Now, you wanna add some chicken broth. As you can see, I just eyeball everything. I don't measure anything unless it's new to me. So I'm just kind of eyeballing. And I would recommend going, placing a little as possible and then working your way up. So you want to add all of your ingredients inside now. So I added my potatoes, my celery, my onions, and I said my potatoes already. <laughs> So you wanna now season it up. I'm using some Obey black pepper. You don't need no salt because we will be using heavy cream. Bay leaves are optional as well. I just love the flavor bay leaves gives. But we're not gonna leave it in the pot. We will take it out once it comes to a boil. Heavy cream is now used to thicken the clam chowder. This is the key. You want to use heavy cream. You can use as much heavy cream as you use for your chicken broth, I would suggest. As you can see, it's very soupy, so don't be alarmed when you see it is not thick soon as you place it in. It will be very soupy and I just let it come to a boil for it to thicken up. Now, if yours does not thicken immediately or if you are in a rush, you can add flour as little as possible. You want to build it up, but you can add flour and it will help thicken it. Now you wanna wait till the last five minutes of your clam chowder of being ready. Then you're gonna go ahead and add in your clam because you don't want your clams to overcook. Seafood can overcook very fast. So just be mindful that we don't want it to be rubbish, like that rubbery, chewy kind of clam chowder. So the last five minutes, place in your clams and it is all done. This is so easy to make. It is so easy to make. And I'm gonna top it off with some sourdough bread and bacon and voila. This is a nice comforting meal right at your home.